This is the story of the redemption of the Alter Rebbe. The name Alter Rebbe is Yiddish for the old rabbi. This is what the Hasidim would call the Alter Rebbe. But for the rest of the Jewish world, Rabbi Shneer Zalman of Liyad and he was the founder of the Chabad Lubavitch movement. He lived from 1745 to 1812. This story is about the arrest and imprisonment of the Alter Rebbe. The name of this story is called The Black Wagon. The Alter Rebbe lived during the time of the Russian Tsarist Empire. And because of his activities of spreading Judaism around the Russian Empire, there were many people that did not like what he was doing. There were people that informed on him to the government, saying that he was a traitor and that he was supplying money to the Turkish Empire, which the Russians were at war with at the time. The truth was he was giving money to needy families that were living in Israel at the time. There were many times that the Russian soldiers would come to the town of Liadi searching for the Alter Rebbe. He would go and he would run and hide, and they would not be able to find him. And they would leave and they would go back empty-handed. Hey, where's the Alter Rebbe? The Tsar told us that we need to find him. When they had left the Alter Rebbe would come out of hiding and he would go back to his followers so that he could spread the message of mystical Judaism. One day, when the Alter Rebbe was in hiding because the Russian soldiers had come to look for him again, one of his followers, Reb Shmuel Munkus, came and he said to the Alter Rebbe, Why are you hiding? And the Alter Rebbe came out and said to him, I'm hiding because I'm afraid that I'll be found by the Russian soldiers. And Reb Shmuel Manka said to him, he said, if you are a true Rebbe, a tzaddik, a righteous person, you have nothing to fear by being arrested. If you are not, you deserve whatever they will do to you. For what right do you have to deprive thousands of your followers from enjoying the pleasures of this world. And with that, the Alter Rebbe knew that he needed to go with the soldiers. Hey, there he is. Stop, you, you are under arrest. We are here on behalf of the Tsar of Russia, and we are here to place you under arrest and to take you to prison. And with that, the dreaded black wagon came by being pulled by a black horse with a man in a black suit. And the soldier said, It is time, Alter Rebbe, for you to get into the wagon. With that, the Alter Rebbe was inside the black carriage, reserved for rebels against the Tsar and his empire. And with that, the carriage was on its way. The carriage traveled for hours, Thursday and then Friday. As it began to get close to sundown, which would be the arrival of the Jewish Sabbath on Friday night, the Alter Rebbe finally spoke up, and he asked the wagon driver, Would you please stop for Shabbos? But the wagon driver simply ignored him. The carriage arrived at the front of a deep and dark forest. The Alter Rebbe asked again, Would you please stop the wagon for Shabbos? And his request again was ignored. As the time ticked on, it got closer 
and closer to Shabbos. The wagon went deeper and deeper into the forest. As the carriage came out the other side, the Alter Rebbe said, Once and for all, this wagon will stop for Shabbos. Not more than a moment after he said these words, the carriage stopped. It simply wouldn't budge. And with that, something strange began to happen. First, the wheel fell off the carriage. And it fell down to the ground. And then the horse got loose, but instead of running away, it simply fell over and died. And that is where the Alter Rebbe spent that very lonely Shabbos, knowing that he was going to be safe. And this concludes the story of the Black Wagon.